what's the essential nature of the negative experience? I mean, I mean it's not contentless terror. It's, it's, it's more personal. It can take many, many different forms. If during the session, uh, a demonic figure, you know, comes up and starts to approach you, your job is to be interested and curious about it. Instead of reifying an image if, in your mind, and if you do, you'll either choose to run from it and then you'll spend the entire session running from this demon that's going to annihilate you until you're exhausted and the psilocybin's gone. Or alternatively, you may choose to fight it, but, but by fighting it, you've also reified it. What we really want you to do is be really interested in it and be curious about it. And so it's terrifying. It's, it's a construct created by you, for you, probably to, ter to, to terrify you. Although the hair on the back of your head may be standing on end, you know, we would much rather have you approach it, ask it what it's doing there. What am I to learn from this? And what the guarantee is, if you actually investigate it, it's going to start changing. And then initially, it actually might become more terrifying, uh, but it can't, it can't and won't continue to do that. It's going to dissolve and it may dissolve into something disgusting or beautiful or transcendent or silly, uh, but it's going to change. Your job is just to stay with the experience and recognize that you're empowered in a way to approach whatever it is that emerges in consciousness. My sense of that is they have faced the greatest terror, whatever form it's taken, and they've come out recognizing that they're, they're safe, they're empowered. That can be a, a life-changing experience in and of itself. Because after you really have faced it down and, and looked it in its eyes and realized it's actually nothing other than an object of consciousness, nothing other than yourself, then what is it in life that can put up an obstacle w with that much uh, fear uh, for you? It's, it's very much like a classic initiation ceremony. Voluntary exposure to obstacles in your path that are threatening or disgusting is almost inevitably curative. That which you approach voluntarily shrinks as you approach it and you grow. And if you run, the reverse happens. You're probably not counter-conditioning the fear. What you're doing is showing the person that there's more to them than they thought.